Well, I would say that um, unfortunately where poverty is highest is where we have a lack of um, infrastructure to support a lot of what is required for impact investing. So we don't have the data in many of these areas. We don't have the internet. We don't have um, reception. We don't have energy. But also, this provides a range of opportunities. I think it's the fear of the unknown. Right. A lot of people don't want to take risks. But I keep saying that when these um, impact investors actually venture into these areas, if they go in fast, they will be able to shore up a lot of profit, basically because there's practically nothing going on in many of those areas. The important thing, of course, is to convince the um, authorities, the public space, because policy also plays a, a, a very big part. Uh, I'll give the example of the minimum requirement for opening a bank account. Um, the CBM regulations say you must have a phone um, or phone number. Um, many of the people that actually require virtual wallets don't live in areas, I mean, this is where we haven't cracked yet. Don't live in areas where we have energy, right. where we have reception, you need energy to charge the phones. And even where you have energy and you have reception, many of them, you give them the phones, they just sell them unless there's value coming through those phones. So we've been pushing, for instance, that government or CBN should uh, consider making the NIN number the minimum requirement